coming down is just phenomenal. You're just flying, you know? You're like Superman without his cape. But uh, the potential is there. I mean, anything from a sprained ankle to death. Uh, so you just, you've got to be aware, you've got to be ready, you've got to be trained. If you're not a little scared of this mountain, you, yeah, you need to be. You got to be careful. You got to be safe. My name is Flip Faldegger. Uh, I was born here in Seward. It can never be totally safe, but you can do it safer. Uh, what we're going to try to show you here is, you know, what the mountain is, where things are, and this is where the fun really starts uh, because you've got cliffs to go up. All right, we are at the base of the mountain. Uh, what you have here is your two main areas that most runners, there is other little trails here and there that people will use, but for the most part, most people either go right above this dike area is what we call the roots. And you go up through the trees to the top of the cliff or where the snow is, you actually go around that way and you curve up around, you get to the base of what we call the waterfall and then you side hill up to the top of the cliff from there for the switchback trail. And it switchbacks up and across to join the other trail. Um, it is a pretty good trail if it's dry. If it's wet, it tends to be real muddy. And then it's just as unsafe as any of them. But, but when it's dry, it's a good trail, especially for the kids. Yeah, once, once you're past the cliff, I mean, life gets a lot less dramatic. Uh, but you're dealing with, you know, on a rainy day, it can be real muddy. You're slipping and sliding, you know, you take one step forward and slide three back, you know, if it's real bad. Uh, you know, there is Pushki. Uh, well, I guess people up north call it cow's parsnip. I don't know. We always call it Pushki when I was growing up. Devil's Club, of course. If you mistakenly grab a Devil's Club with your bare hand, it, you'll know it instantly. Um, wear gloves, you know, it'll, it'll, it's just the way to go. I wouldn't personally ever do it barehanded. Um, going up from halfway, you're more in the open. Uh, that's generally where you'll start getting some, uh, getting some wind to cool you down and whatnot a little bit. Uh, on a hot day, it is just stifling hot in the brush. No air movement, dusty. Uh, it's, it's, it can be real, uh, real warm there. If you really want hydration, uh, you need to carry it yourself. Not a big deal. Most people, you know, the, the new the new belts, the little water bottles and stuff, it's not a big deal to carry your own. Uh, but I do not count on water being on the mountain. It might be there, it might not. Uh, if, you're, if you're concerned, carry your own. Then you get to the top, you have to go around the rock on top. There's one big rock up on top. You have to go around that, then you start down um, and normally once you turn around and you start on the downhill, your legs are like rubber bands. Uh, it is hard to keep them under you at first. And you're running in shale and rock. And uh, so uh, people do tend, you know, they'll fall down now and then just because their legs aren't supporting them right off the bat. You, you know, you're, you're kind of running, sliding, you know, uh, cartwheeling down it. It's very steep at the start, and it's easy to get out of control. Uh, it's like a thousand little razor blades. And uh, you'll probably, I actually one year had to go to the emergency room the next day and have pieces of shale picked out of my cheeks. And uh, then I laid around for four days with bandages on my hiney. Um, yeah, so you do that once, once only. You come down through the V, and then you hit the gully, what we call the gully. Some people call it the gut. I've always called it the gully. And there's the creek and the gully. Lots of rocks. Uh, can be very slippery and wet. Uh, loose rocks. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, you, want, you really need to watch what you're doing in there. Uh, I can't even count how many times I've sprained my ankles on this hill. Uh, especially in the gully. Both up and down, the general rule of thumb is if you come up on somebody either direction, 
and you want to pass them, you go trail. You know, trail is the word. Number one, you want to let them know you're coming. Don't surprise them. Yell trail on your left, on your right, you know, something along those lines. And the people being passed, please be courteous and try to get out of the way a little bit if you can. You know, be, be nice, play nice, you know, that's all we ask. And most, most runners are pretty good about it. You kind of kick it into another gear and, and uh, you know, head down through here and through the people. Uh, fortunately, there's a lot of them cheering you on, so that keeps you going. We'll have the finish area. Uh, basically, you're going to try to extend the finish area so people can keep moving. We, we, you know, the one thing we do not want, we don't want people gathering. That's kind of totally against everything we're being told not to do. So uh, you'll be handed a mask. Uh, we expect you to put it on. Uh, then you will keep moving, go out the finish chute, and once you're out down below, of course, you're on your own. Uh, we encourage everybody, you know, that don't congregate in big groups. You know, it's just, it's not the smart thing to do. You're going to be around a lot of strangers. You don't, you know, be, be thoughtful about other people and yourself. Uh, you know, be smart. Um, just, it, there is still a pandemic going on. But for right now, this is where we're at. So that's the way we're playing it. Yeah, even if you have ran it before, you need to do it again. Uh, even if you've ran it 10 years in a row, you know, you can't say, oh, well, I know where I'm going and just show up on race day and do it. That's, it's just not smart, it's not safe, and it's not fair to people around you. So, uh, you just plain and simple, you've got to come get on the mountain. Yeah, and uh, it is fun. A lot of times it's a lot more fun when you're done, thinking back on it, but uh, yeah, you know, it's, uh, it's, this race is like no other race. It's phenomenal and it's all its own.